Hey traders, today I will be covering two trades that I took on the euro dollar. The first one I took was a loss and the second one that I took was a nice 7R trade. I will be covering exactly how I looked at the charts. Uh, we'll do a top-down analysis just so you know my thought process. So let's start off with clearing out all the drawings. Let's start from scratch and let's actually grab the replay tool here and reset ourselves to 8.30. Cool. As you can see, the New York is open and we had London. I didn't really trade London today, so I'll only be covering the New York session. First hop on to a four hour chart. As we can see, we have a big move up already. And what I immediately see is that we sweat liquidity right here. So the chances of us going back down, at least today, I deem them pretty small. So what I'm thinking is that we will either continue bullish or we will be ranging today, depending on what the rest of the day is going to be bringing us. What I did, did then is drop down to the 15 minutes and I took a look at our zone. So the first thing I really did was um, mark up our structure for today. So this was today's low and this is for now today's high. And as we can see on the 15 minute, what we see is that we swept liquidity from all these points and then actually came back here. So what this actually shows me, there is no real liquidity to be taken on the downside. And there's also no real liquidity to be taken on the upside because we already took all of that. What I'm immediately thinking is that if today will probably be a rangy day. That's what the 15 minutes is telling me so far. So let's actually mark this as a sweep. All right. And then what I usually do, I have a simple way of establishing a, a premium discount zone. This is my high. This will be my low. And that's a daily low and a daily high. And then exactly in the middle of that, where I drew that pretty difficult to see line, I use the FIP tool to 50%. That's where my equilibrium is at. Cool. So we've established that. What I do then is I usually drop down to either the five minutes or the two minutes. Today was pretty volatile, so I decided to use the two minute. And let's see what price action gives us. As we can see, we swept the upside and we swept the downside. This candle confirms even that. As you can see, all the liquidity was laying down here. That throttle, all this liquidity right here was taken. Change the color on that. All this liquidity was taken and all this liquidity was taken. So that's why I'm expecting today to be rangy. And if we do take out highs or lows, we will either take this out and that out, but then return to balance our price. That's how I'm looking at today. As you can see, we just grabbed liquidity on top, but this is clearly news. Sorry, I had to stop recording for a second. So as you can see, we took out liquidity from the buyers. And what we then look for is a fair value gap and a minor structure shift or just market structure shift. Um, let's go down to the one minute to see if we are present with a fair value gap. And as you can see, we did not. And here is a fair value gap. Mark that out. But what we can clearly see is that it's very close to our equilibrium and that's usually our target so we are however in a premium zone but too close to equilibrium to actually take a trade from there as you can see if we would have taken the trade put it right over here did something like this stop here right the equilibrium would have a trade but the reward the risk reward is just not, not really worth it for me all right, so let's see, what do we do here now? We took out some more liquidity from the top, but still we're too close to the equilibrium. Really take shorts from here. Like to see price rally a bit. And now it's getting close to 9 a.m. where we do see some liquidity sweeps quite often. All right, so we take out liquidity from here. And you could actually look at these levels as equal or relative equal highs, right? These two. Why are people who have their stops right here? And this sweep right here didn't take all of the stops. We can expect there are still stops here. 
and even more right there after we made that move down. We trapped people in shorts. Now we can see that the market is slowing down. What I would really like to see taken is this. But if we see a clean, a clean bit of displacement right here, I will not be, I will not stay away from shorts at all. Okay, so at this point we did create a fair value gap. As you can see, it's a really small one, but it's still a fair value gap. Make that a bit bigger. You can clearly see what I'm talking about. As you can see, this is a fair value gap, right? And we have more displacement, but no fair value gap. Price is then returning back almost equilibrium. And also we need to re-establish our equilibrium. Let's do that right now. So again, we are pretty close to the equilibrium. So if an option were to be presented here, we could have taken it, and I actually did. So what I did was the following. I put trade here, I set my stop like this, and I targeted the fair value gap that can be spotted right near equilibrium. That's what I took. That was my target. So as you can see, I got pegged. And then we move down, filling any sort of imbalance that could have been there. Now what we did is create another fair value gap. So how I look at that is another possible opportunity. So you could scale in here, but what I see is where would I put my stop? If I were to take that trade, I would put it right here. So why would I hold this position? So that's exactly what I did. I moved my stop to almost break even. And as you can see, right here, I got tagged out. I did not really take partials anywhere. While I could have taken partials at this fair value gap, I decided not to. I decided to let it run. And since I had my stop to BE anyway, wasn't worried for me. So this trade is closed now. Let's remove that. Then I still have my eye on this level right here. This little fair value gap. And, that. and that's when I decided to place my order there. Set my order. And I decided to just cover these highs. My target. My target was. Um, let me think. I established that there was sell side liquidity right here, resting below this low. It didn't got sweep swept yet. And more so, there is a big fair value gap right here. It's still open. So I decided to target this. And this level was a level where I could take partials. Let's mark that. Close 50% of the position. That's what I usually do. And then I close full somewhere else. I could also along the way take partials if I feel the need to do so. Let's see what happens. As you can see, we got filled on this position. We then move down. And as you can see, we left some fair value gaps. So what I did is I trailed my stop, which I usually do. I love trailing my stop. We have this fair value gap. And what does that mean? We move our stop right over here which already secures us some profits, right? Stop loss. Continue moving down. I moved my stop to over here as well. As soon as we created this small fair value gap, right here, move my stop to over there. Then we had this one, so I moved my stop here. And at this point, I took partials. I took 50% off my position. As soon as we hit that line over there, and then I didn't really watch the trade anymore. And when I look back, I established a nice, I think I covered it a bit higher, was seven and a, and a little R. So I think I scored around 7.5 R with this trade. And that's exactly the thought process. There's nothing more to it, it's super simple. This is all ICT concepts. Very clean trade during a kill zone, during the New York kill zone. And I booked another 14% because I always risk 2% per trade. And I did lose a little bit in the trade that I took. It was over here. There we go. That's another 14%. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you find some value in this video. Take care.